In this video, I'm going to introduce the VP internal subject hypothesis. This is a very important hypothesis in order to move from baby syntax, which is what we started with at the beginning, and moving into like this toddler child state of syntax. So before we've just had subjects generated in spec TP, but this isn't quite right. Instead, we want subjects to be generated as specifiers of VPs and then they will move to the specifier of TP via the extended projection principle. And why? So the question is, why do we need to do that? One is word order in some languages, which we may discuss foreign languages at some point, but the big thing is theta roles. And we know that verbs carry theta roles in them, so wouldn't all the arguments be generated within the verb itself? Doesn't that make more sense? So destroy agent theme, something destroyed something, or someone destroyed something. We probably want that someone and that something to be with the head of the phrase because it needs its theta roles. Similar with the word give, if we have agent, theme, and goal, we probably want them generated with the verb so we can get theta roles. Let's take a look at the sentence, Mary destroyed the house. So we have the head of the verb destroy, and we have the house as its object. And the house is generated as a complement of V. So it's essentially generated very close to V. But now what we're gonna say is that, well, actually the subjects of sentences, Mary, also originate as the specifier of VP. So now the subject and the object are generated much closer to VP. But we still have a problem because we don't have proper word order. So now the extended projection principle, which says the specifier of TP must be filled, is now looking for something to move up. And what does it look for? It looks for the subject. So it wants Mary to move up to the specifier of TP where it was before. So what will happen is we'll end up with a trace as a specifier of the VP because it moved up to the specifier of the TP. So now what happens is that the subjects and objects are getting theta roles from the verb destroy. So it's assigning agent to the specifier of the VP and it's assigning theme to the complement of the VP. And then in order to get word order, we have Mary moving up to spec TP where it was originally. So this is how we do a sentence like Mary destroyed the house. And don't worry, it is still okay for the tense on T to move down to the verb. The specifier VP does not block this. Okay, so a lot of arrows and the trees are gonna have a lot more arrows as we go on because there's actually quite a bit of movement that goes on in our trees. So here's another question or another sentence. Was Connor failing the course? And this is a question, but again, the key here is that we still have the subjects and objects being generated as spec VP. So fail the course. The course is our theme. So that's what they're failing. And who is doing the failing? Well, Connor. Connor is the one doing the failing. So we have the theta role given to Connor. And I guess this would be an experiencer. So this happens. Connor is the one failing the course. And then Connor moves up to spec DP because the extended production principle is saying, look, I need this to be filled, so let's fill it with spec VP. And then we end up with a trace under the DP and this DP gets indexed as I. So we can see that spec VP moves up to spec TP and then all the other movement just happens as normal. So this ING moves down to failing, so we get the morphology failing there, so that moves. B moves up to T to get past tense, so now this is was, and then it moves further up to C because it has plus Q, and then we end up with was Connor failing the course. And as you can see, yeah, there's quite a bit of movement. So we can clean this up again with indexes. I just want to index everything just so we can see exactly what these look like. So this ing in progressive 
we don't usually index morphology, but with the progressive, we can say, okay, we already have a T sub I for the DP movement. So we can just call this T sub J and that moves up to T and then it moves up to the head of C. So now we have, was Connor failing the course? And it should be a J. Okay, so that is movement in trees. But it's really not too satisfying to just say, well, spec VP goes to spec TP, there's word order differences. So we're gonna introduce case theory in the next video, and that will motivate things a little bit further, and then we can see how subjects and objects come into play, and there is some connection between theta roles, subjects, and objects that we can explore using case theory. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them as quickly as I can.